What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my what's in my professional wrestling training bag, gym bag, whatever you want to call it. I'll be taking out every item from my bag, explaining what it is, explaining why I bring it with me and hopefully educating some of you guys into what goes into my professional wrestling training. Now this video is primarily focused at the people that are starting wrestling school, starting professional wrestling training, but if you just have an interest in this topic or you're used to just watching my channel, hopefully you can find some enjoyment anyway. Without further ado guys, let's get right into the video. Kicking things off, we have my actual bag itself. Now guys, I'm going to try and leave as many links as I can in the description down below so that you guys can pick up these items. Uh, obviously, different substitutes that are like similar will do the job absolutely fine. But if you want exactly the same stuff that I've got, I'll try my best to leave links. Most of them will probably be Amazon UK or eBay UK links. So if you're from the US, you may have to do a quick conversion. But either way, stays the same. Here is my gym bag. I'm not too sure on the specifications of it. I know that it's made by Bulk which is a popular like supplement protein gym brand over here in the UK. It's about 50 liters and it is a big, big bag. You don't actually need one this big, but definitely for the purposes of this video and the amount of stuff that I've got, showing it all in one, normally I will just, you know, have this half full if that, but today it is pretty much packed to the absolute top. So there's the bag, it's quite big. There you can see me holding it like this. Uh, I'm six foot two and this is the bag. So, you know, just for, there you go. It's quite hard to eyeball how big a bag is, but it's a pretty decent bag. It's waterproof and uh, yeah, I, I can't really complain. So why not open this thing up and move on to what's inside? So I figured it would be best to start with the side pocket of the bag and get all of the miscellaneous stuff out of the way. Starting off, these are things that you don't really need to take with you. They're not required, but they help me. And I've got my massage gun. Now, I've got loads of different attachments to this. I keep them all in this little beaten up bag. But here we go, you know, plug it in, turn it on. And if you're, you know, you've got a dodgy back or dodgy arm, works a treat. I don't really take this with me to training too much. This is more of a show day kind of thing. And uh, speaking of which, there is probably going to be items in here which are more show day gear. So if you guys want to see a follow up to this video in the future and see what's in my actual suitcase, which is what I bring to shows with all of my actual show professional wrestling gear, tights, boots, mask, whatever I bring with me on the day of a show. Let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, massage gun. You can never go wrong with one of these. Whenever you're feeling a little bit beat up, whenever you're feeling a bit down, a bit hurt, it's perfect. Let's move that out of the way. The next item in the side pocket of the bag, we have got right here a protein bar. Nearly dropped it. A protein bar. Now, guys, this is from My Protein. It's just, a, I believe, a fudge brownie flavor. 20 grams of protein in there. It's nice. It's good for a quick snack. Whenever I do training on a Sunday... I tend to be there for about four hours. So somewhere in the midpoint there, it's nice to have a little snack. Luckily, where I train, which is the Square One Academy in Hitchin, Hertfordshire, they've trained me from the very beginning. When I'm there, they do actually have a vending machine with different drinks and, you know, protein snacks in there and just normal snacks and stuff. So, you know, if I forget my protein bar, it's not the end of the world. I can just go to the vending machine, which I tend to do. Anyway, next up, we have got some medicine. Now, I don't even know if I'm actually allowed to show you guys this, but we've just simply got some paracetamol and some ibuprofen uh, in case I'm feeling a little bit beaten up. These are good, you know, I, I believe these are for more like inflammation, pain relief, and uh, this is more like if I've got a headache or something like that. They both are very similar. I don't know the specs behind it. I wasn't very good at science in school, but I know they help me if I've feel a little bit beaten up after training or during training, pop a couple of these with a drink and I am all good. Now, I haven't actually got it here, but a water bottle. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. We've all got one. Bring a water bottle to training, a big one. I tend to bring one of those really big bottles with me, you know, the plastic ones that you can buy in like a pack of six at your local supermarket. I bring one of those with me and I normally finish it off. Once again, don't have it on me right now, but always worth mentioning. And that one is pretty much just common sense. Moving up next, we have something a lot of guys don't bring, but I like to, a towel. 
I always bring a towel with me whenever I go to the gym, whenever I wrestling train, because you get super sweaty and you're in there, close contact, mixing it up with guys. The last thing they want is to be grabbing me and be slipping all over me. So bring a towel, quick pat down on yourself, wipe yourself down when you're feeling a bit sweaty, they will thank you for it. And speaking of being sweaty, this one, this one, wrestling fans, I know what we're like, okay? Not necessarily me personally, but I know what some of you are like. I've been to live events in the summer. You guys need deodorant, man. It's not hard. It's like a pound. It's like a dollar. Go and get some deodorant, especially if you're professional wrestling training. Honestly, it's just simple hygiene and it's common courtesy. If you're mixing it up with someone close contact, you've got them under your arm. The last thing they want is to be able to smell what's under your armpits. Spray deodorant, man. Really, really not hard. Is that it for the side pocket? No, it's not. We've got a couple more items. Firstly, another one, some chewing gum. I'm big on hygiene. I'm big on wanting to smell nice. I want, you know, I don't want to be in the ring with a guy and have stink heat. No one does. So deodorant, a towel, chewing gum, you know, brushing your teeth is fine, guys. But when you're in the ring, you're sweating, you've got dry mouth, you're working close proximity with a guy, before you train, just have a couple chewing gums. Spit them out before you train. Don't don't, don't wrestle with them in because I'm sure whichever training school it is, they're not going to be happy if you get chewing gum stepped on on the canvas. So quick chewing gum before you get in the ring and uh, they will thank you for it. And finally, this isn't a side pocket item, but I figured it's worth mentioning anyway. Now, this isn't something I really bring to training with me uh, because I'm pretty sure if I needed one, we've got some at the academy. But guys, plain and simple, a foam roller. This thing... This thing is a lifesaver, honestly. Whenever you've had a rough day, your back's hurting, your quads are hurting, your hamstrings hurting, whatever it is, lay on one of these things, roll it out on the floor. It's got these little ridges here. It's made of foam, really dense foam. This thing has saved my life on numerous occasions. I've come back from training and I'm absolutely done for, especially my legs. Quick roll with the foam roller. I wake up in the next day in probably less than half the pain that I would have been in if I hadn't used the foam roller. So there you go, guys. That is the miscellaneous side items bit of the video. And I've realized this is already like seven minutes in. So I better move on to what's in the actual bag. Kicking off the main compartment of the bag, we're starting from the top of the body, making our way down. We've got Elbow pads. Now, these aren't compulsory, and to be perfectly honest, a lot of the guys I train with don't wear them. But when you're doing stuff that I do, where I tend to do a lot of stuff coming off the top and, you know, friction burning my elbows, I want elbow pads. Now, these are a very cheap version. They're just some really, really cheap elastic elbow pads I got on eBay for probably less than £10. But the foam on them is absolutely beaten up, and they don't offer that much protection anymore. This is the cheap alternative. And then... There's the more expensive variant, which I'm showing you right now. We've got some trace elbow pads. I got these recently. These are pretty much the exact same as what Triple H used to wear um, back in the early 2000s, I believe, in WWF. Trace elbow pads. Trace is a very reliable brand. They aren't cheap. These were about £35, I believe. 30 to £35, including shipping. And uh, yeah, but Trace is a very reliable brand. They're nice and tight. They give me the protection that I need and I can't complain. Elbow pads, get yourself a pair. Moving down next, knee pads. Now guys, I've seen people train in these knee pads, which are once again, cheap eBay versions. Less than a tenner, elastic knee pads. You can get them anything on eBay for wrestling wise you want. Such volleyball knee pads, volleyball elbow pads, it always comes up because they're the soft version. Now, these are fine, but they don't offer you as much protection really as you're going to need. And doing this now for as long as I've been doing it, nearly, well, yeah, two and a half years. Wow, I've been training for two and a half years. My knees are shot. Doing moves off the top rope hurts, okay? It hurts. When I'm wrestling on shows, I wear three knee pads. You need good knee pads. So I've got these, but I don't just wear these. I wear these, put these on first, and then over the top, right here, McDavid Volleyball knee pads. Got these on Amazon. These are like 
probably 25, 30 pounds as well. I'm not too sure. I've had these for a long time now. Anyway, the cheap ones underneath, these ones over the top. These are basically the exact same build as the Trace versions. I think they're just a little bit cheaper. So McDavid knee pads, they're not just foam. They feel like they're quite like gel material. They work lovely they're perfect make sure you get yourself a decent pair of knee pads over elbow pads you can you can choose to not have elbow pads but no one should be starting wrestling school no one should be wrestling training without wearing knee pads rookie mistake which brings us down now to the main event of the grand finale of course i am talking about professional wrestling boots now when you're starting out a little pair of these will do the job wonderfully some cheap lonsdale boots now mine are absolutely beaten up and i don't use them anymore but i figured it's worth showing you guys anyway some lonsdale boots you can probably get these from any local sports shop i got these from sports direct in the uk they're actually labeled as boxing boots and it's because you know they come up high they've got the ankle support um and yeah they, they do the job most people that train professional wrestling wear these i did for like two years. But then I got a proper pair of ringside boots. Richard Bishop made professional wrestling boots. The same guy that once again makes Triple H's boots, along with half of the top talent in the world's boots, right here. Some proper black professional wrestling boots. And you can always tell they're made by Richard Bishop if they've got this little union jack on. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's the red, white, and blue color scheme. Either way, some proper wrestling boots. Now, I can wear these on shows. I can wear these in training. It doesn't matter. The support these give me is fantastic. And I don't wear these ones on shows. I've got a red pair that I wear on shows. And honestly, I'm talking from first-hand experience. I did a springboard move off the middle rope literally last weekend and rolled my ankle and I genuinely believe if I wasn't wearing a proper pair of wrestling boots with the proper ankle support, and I was, you know, let's say wearing trainers like a lot of wrestlers do now, I would have snapped my ankle. But instead, I've literally done minimal damage. Boots, proper pair, Richard Bishop, ringside boots, link in the description. They are pricey. The Lonsdale ones will set you back maybe about 40, 50 pounds. These are about 250 pounds, but I don't regret it and you won't either. But ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That was my professional wrestling training bag. Everything I bring to training. Now, I bring one version of it. Obviously, I've, I've showed you everything I've got, everything I've ever bought to training. Most of the time, I just chuck towel, deodorant, chewing gum, medicine, the uh, Richard Bishop boots, knee pads, trace elbow pads into a bag, call it a day. Most of the time, I bring half of that stuff. Honestly, it entirely depends on how much time I've had to pack my bag the night before or the morning of. But in an ideal world, all of those things in your bag. Once again, I will leave the links in the description to all of the products I've showed in this video. Or if I can't leave links to the exact ones, I will try and find something that's similar in price, similar in you know aesthetic and i'll leave a link to that in the comment section down below if you guys have any questions regarding any of the stuff i've shown in this video feel free to let me know in the comment section down below i'm thinking of doing a follow-up video to this where i give five tips for your first day of professional wrestling training how to make a good impression on your first day let me know if you want that in the in the comments down below not the description and also let me know if you want to see what's inside my show day gear bag all of the stuff I bring when I'm actually wrestling on a show in the comment section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.